In July 2016, what may have first looked like an obstacle became a starting block for Noelle Lambert. The UMass Lowell lacrosse player had wrapped up her freshman year and was vacationing in Martha's Vineyard. Noelle and a teammate were riding a moped when they collided with a garbage truck. Noelle lost her left leg in the process. I was conscious the whole, the whole time I can remember every single detail about it. And I mean, I just remember thinking to myself, like, lacrosse has been my life. I mean, sports has been my life. In high school, as a three-sport athlete, I mean, there, I never went through a time period where I wasn't doing something active. So I honestly thought my life was going to be over. From the day of the injury on, the lacrosse team supported Noelle, and she remained close to the program, missing no school and using humor and hard work to find her routine. The funny thing about my story is I had never had someone tell me that I was not going to be able to do something, which I'm really grateful for because you hear all these stories and people are saying, you're never going to be able to walk again. You're not never going to be able to run again. So I was really grateful that I had that support system because people weren't going to let me use my disability as something that was going to limit me. My teammates were one of the main reasons why I was always so positive and everything because they joked around with me about it and that helped me feel comfortable enough. That helped them feel comfortable enough with me and everything. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Noelle set her sights on making a return to the lacrosse field to play at the Division I level. Her prosthetist Jason Lala is a former Paralympic gold medal skier and knew what it would take to come back from that sort of injury. I lost my leg in a motorcycle accident when I was 18 year old, years old, a couple of weeks out of high school. Grew up playing lacrosse and hockey, so had, we had very similar mindset and actually even kind of a similar story in, in a similar age. He knew exactly like what needed to be happening for me and like what I needed to be doing. And I mean, just having someone that has gone through similar situations as I have and like it has been very active and not letting like their amputation like limit them or anything has been very special to me. A new level of focus and work ethic was required of Noel to get walking again, let alone competing at a Division I level. Before my accident, I was type, one of those types of players that just went through the motions every day in practice and never put in any extra work or anything like that. And I mean, now I have to put in that extra work. And to be able to compete in a Division One lacrosse level, I had to be putting in three extra workouts a day more than anybody else because I had one less leg. Having the opportunity to watch her go from her taking her first steps in our office uh, and her telling me that her goal was to return to Division One lacrosse being an above knee amputee myself, I'm going, ooh, that's going to be tough. Like, I know she'll be able to run, but changing directions and stuff, that's a whole different deal. After 21 months of rehab and getting cleared by the NCAA, Noelle returned to the field. And in her first game back, she scored. Just seeing the joy from my teammates, I mean, that, that was the best part. I mean, it was really cool being able to score again, but like seeing the joy from my, my teammates and coaches, I mean, none of it would have been possible if it wasn't for them. They, on, they took a chance on me. They never let me use like my disability as something that was gonna limit me or anything. So I'm, all, I'm very grateful for that support. And they're gonna empty the bench for that one. Watching the video, I, I teared up watching it. It was just, it was just awesome. So to be part of that, um, the satisfaction I get with knowing that I was a small part of that journey for her, which is continuing, it was, it was just awesome. Now when I look back on the accident, I'm grateful that it happened to me because, I mean, it changed my life. It changed my perspective and what's important in life. I mean, it changed the type of person I was, type of teammate, athlete, and everything. Noelle couldn't have returned to the field without her family, team, and support system, but also the generosity of two charities who donated her waterproof and running prosthetic to her. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them. They helped me get back to what I was doing before my accident, back to my regular life. So, I mean... That just inspired me to want to give back to others. So I started the Born to Run Foundation, which specializes in donating prosthetics to younger adults or children who just want to live a fun and fulfilling life. Noelle has already donated three prosthetics so far with multiple future donations lined up. And it's been a busy spring for Noelle. She graduated college and has now shifted her focus to the track, trying her hand at the 100 meter dash with her first race being at the Desert Challenge in Tempe. It's very different um, going from a team sport to an individual sport. You're only running by yourself and it's only your time, so it takes some adjusting to. But I think playing at the level that I did with lacrosse and everything and doing the run test and everything, it's helped me be very competitive and be able to keeping up with other people. I mean, you're taking the challenges that an able-bodied athlete has and then you're throwing a mechanical device into that mix. And that device, the prosthesis, which is you know, where I, what I specialize in, 
that makes all the difference in the world. And if it's set up improperly or is not fitting well, there's no chance that they'll be able to compete at, the, at their peak level. I'm looking to get to the next level. I mean, obviously I'm looking to do, compete in nationals and compete in the Paralympics, but I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rookie now and I don't know how well I'm gonna do and I don't know what process I need to go through and everything. I'm honestly just learning as I go. And just like her return to lacrosse, Noelle thrived on the track, winning her division in her very first race. I learned a lot actually from being here for like three days. I had so many people helping like critique like my form and everything. I mean, I got to see so many amazing racers and like what they can do and everything. So it's really, it's really humbling experience coming to something like this and just, I'm excited to see what comes next, but I'm also just grateful that I was able to come here and be able to compete alongside the best people in the world. And it's good to get it over with, just the uh, first jitters and everything. I mean, before the race I was shaking and so, I mean, it was great. Great to get it over with. Now I'm looking forward to what's next.